Can I, Des Butler, make beautiful UV resin jewelry using nail foil like other YouTubers do? Oh, <laughs> oh my gosh. Mm, we will see in this episode, won't we? What's going on, my fellow jewelers? Thanks so much for tuning in. I love trying out new techniques. When it comes to UV resin, epoxy resin, beaded jewelry, I love doing new techniques and teaching you guys. And so I've been seeing like people making this beautiful jewelry pieces using nail foil. And so I'm like, well, I might as well try that and bring you guys along with me to see if I nail it or fail it. You guys have to tell me at the end if I nail it or fail it. And so I'm excited to bring you along this journey. Before we get started, make sure you subscribe my channel, click that bell, get notifications, because I love teaching you guys how to make jewelry, except today you're going to come along with me instead. So you and me, let's get this foil nail jewelry UV party started. <laughs> that was a lot of words. <laughs> let's go. Okay, so the first thing I want to do is I want to put my bezels on my resin tape. So, um, I'm going to do that. I'm going to, I'm going to, I'm just going to do all at the same time. I mean, like, why not? Right. We got to put on our gloves. You need to wear safety gear. This is chemicals you're dealing with. Um, when I'm not videotaping, I have my respirator on. And so it's just important to protect your lungs and your skin, have a window open, fan going, whatever, have it be ventilated, protect your clothes as well. Cause it, it will ruin your clothes. I've ruined some jeans going, I'm fine. No big deal. So make sure you put your gloves, your respirator and clothes you don't mind getting dirty or a handy dandy apron. I want to make my first layer, but I want to color my first layer. I, I You could do pinks, you could do red. I want to do like, um, kind of like a sil, I got my silver, I got my silver white, and I got my magical purple white. And so these are going to go underneath. And I'm not going to be picky about this color, okay? I'm not going to be picky. I'm going to put it in here. I'm going to put it in if I don't have enough UV, then I will add some more clear. And now I'm gonna use my tool. You can get a toothpick, but I'm gonna use my tool to make sure that I spread it around to um, all the sides. You wanna make sure you have a nice layer to all the sides. And so I'm gonna go like this. So I don't want any bubbles on my first layer. So I'm gonna use my lighter to get the bubbles for that first layer. Okay, just like that. And then I'm gonna do the same thing for these two guys, do the exact same thing, but I'm gonna color it um, a silver, not making it too dark so the light penetrates, and then making another white. Okay, so we got all three of our bezels ready. They just need to be dried. I'm gonna dry it on the, um, the top side, and then I'm gonna flip over and dry it on the back side so it's not sticky on the back side. So we're gonna do that for as long as it takes. Okay, so now let's do three different ways to put the nail foil on. Now, when I was researching this, I saw YouTubers that did jewelry do this, like UV jewelry, but I also researched people that did it on their nails. So the first way I saw is cutting it into strips, and that's what we're gonna do first. We're gonna cut this baby into strips, like so. The strips weren't even. The next way is they just left it alone. Like they didn't do anything. But the third way is, I'm kind of like excited about this way to see how well it works. The third way is, um, I think I'm gonna leave that one alone and do it to this one. They actually crumpled it up like as tight as they could and then uncrumpled it. Oh, to have those, yep. So I don't know if you can see with the camera, but now it has like all these lines through it and it's gonna look really funky. Okay, so cutting, crumpling up and then just leaving as it is. And we're gonna put a layer of clear resin on. And I saw some YouTubers like semi-dry their their clear resin but that didn't work very well the ones that actually worked um they just put the uv resin down they put the resin down and then they put the foil on top and then dried the foil on on with the uv resin so we're going to try it that way because that seemed to work the best out of all the videos i saw so we're going to do a really thin layer just a thin layer on all of them like so I push so much that the resin's going bleep. See, this is all fun. Like, thanks for coming along with me and doing this with me. Before I do any more, let's just dry it real quick. Oh my gosh. I think that this one I'm not as excited about, so I'm gonna do it first. Let's just get this one out of the way, except it's stuck to the tape. Seriously, it's stuck to the tape. This is so, ah. Uh, this didn't, no one showed this in the video. <laughs> okay. That's it. 
that's a fail. So cutting, cutting it, I saw it on someone do it on nails. So I was like, hey, why not try, right? Um, I think it's ugly. I don't think it worked, but let's try the other one. I, I'm excited to see the, the one that we crumpled up and see how that goes. So, oh, that's it. Oh, <laughs> oh my gosh. So what happened was I made the layer way too thick and um and it spilled out and it's causing this weird look so we're just going to oh my gosh <sighs> i mean it worked <sighs> i might have to try over we might just try over i mean you know do over okay so note to self don't put no one tells this like don't put too much resin do the like the the tiniest layer you ever did see like you can't even see it like just do the thinnest layer ever okay let's look at this one oh god <laughs> so this is what we're gonna do i'm not gonna do the cutting one anymore i think that's annoying i'm gonna try the crumpled up one one more i'm gonna try the crumpled up one one more time and do a really thin layer and this one one more time okay We're gonna pull off this one first. Oh, uh, I saw them do this next. I saw them, nope. That is not working. All right, day two. So last night in the middle of the night, I woke up to go to the bathroom. When I came back to my bed, all I could think about was this guy. And I was like, how can I do this? How can I make it work? I was, I was like done with the video, but now my brain's been thinking all day. So I'm going for part two. Doing this, gonna try to make it. Um, I have a layer down, but it's not, it wasn't very deep. So, and I wanna do a little swirly in there. I wanna do a little swirl. Yeah, this is a good amount. We're gonna see if this works. This gotta work. Like, come on, other people do it. Like, why can't I? I'm gonna dry 100% this layer, and then we're gonna put another layer down um, and try to make it sticky, not try to dry it all the way. So now let's do this UV, let's do a layer, but I think I'm gonna use my flashlight. The flashlight is usually to do a quick dry, but maybe I can do it quick enough where it gets sticky and not dries all the way, but not leaves it so it's still wet. So let's, oh, let's try this out. So I'm gonna just do a really thin layer, really, really thin. Let's try this. Come on, this has gotta work. I'm dying for this to work, okay? So really, I just want it all around. Kinda like this. Doesn't need to be perfect. I just want a layer. Someone use their finger. I think I'm just gonna use this guy, my silicone. So now let's do a flash dry. Let's see if this works, okay? Gonna flash dry it to make it sticky. I just want it sticky, you know? Don't want it wet. I just want it sticky. Is it sticky? I'm gonna just feel my finger. I know I'm not supposed to. I know I'm supposed to use my gloves, but I gotta, I gotta try. It's sticky. Ooh, let's do this. It's sticky, so it dried a little bit. Okay, so I'm gonna take my foil and I'm going to just press it down, okay? Mm. Oh, I'm doing it the wrong way. <laughs> You're not supposed to do the color down, you're supposed to do color up. Okay, let's try this again. Okay. Oh my gosh, this is really driving me nuts. Okay. <gasps> it did it. I did the right way. Okay, let's do it some more. <gasps> oh. Worked. It's working. It's working. Okay, that looks good. Okay, I'm going to try the other one. Well, hallelujah, look at that. How fun are the, gosh, finally, three tries, three tries. Oh, we did it, we're doing it. <gasps> look at that, I like it. I think it's really pretty. Oh my gosh. Okay, so. <laughs> <laughs> okay, so now we're going to completely dry it and then we're gonna kind of dome it just a bit, even though I filled it really a lot. You probably don't need to fill it that much. I just didn't know what to do. So you probably don't need to fill it all the way to where it's flush for the first layer, probably just a little bit below, right? And then it needs to be sticky. Oh, this is so awesome. Okay, okay. Yo, I am so excited. Okay, so now let's put um, a top coat on and we're gonna call that beautiful. <gasps> Look at this. I like this technique now. I actually really hated it yesterday, but now I'm kind of loving it. <laughs> oh, I think we did it. 
I think we finally did it. Two days, three attempts later, and we're doing it. Oh my gosh. Okay. <gasps> oh my word. Let's look at these beauties. Oh, okay. That is pretty. I want to look at the pink. The pink's like my favorite right now. I'm glad I didn't give up. Oh my gosh. <laughs> I'm so glad. <sighs> look at that. That is fun. Oh my word. Now compared to these fails yesterday, I like these a lot better. Oh my goodness. It looks in these fails. I didn't even take them off the tape. I was so mad. <laughs> but look at that. That looks so good. All right. Did I nail it or did I fail it? What do you guys think? Oh my gosh, I'm so happy about these. I'm so happy I just finally got the product that I wanted. But you tell me how um, I did. If you thought I failed there, if you thought I nailed it, um, I, I do like the end results of those. So this is the end of my video. At the end, I pray for you guys. That's right. I love praying for my viewers. And I was asking the Lord and he didn't just give me like a word or he didn't just give me a scripture. He actually gave me, I saw a vision of, um, I saw a girl and she was on the beach and her, and her body was laying down facing on the beach, like her whole body, right? This is her head, her, her feet. And the waves kept hitting her head, hitting her head, hit like, like they was even pushing her whole body down and she couldn't get up. It was like wave after after wave after wave and I'm like oh my gosh God like do something and all of a sudden I saw him like put his hand or stop the wave um, from crashing on her and she was able to get out stand up and shake herself off and the Lord was like I, I it's been like it's been trouble after trouble after trouble I'm gonna stop the waves so that you can get up and that you can breathe again and recuperate and all that but then the vision didn't stop there which was crazy I saw um the girl look down the shoreline where the waves was crashing and I not only saw w another girl there I saw another girl, another girl. It was like they were lined up. And so as the Lord was helping her brush off and, and get ready and, and like, it was like, she came back from all the, the waves crashing on her. She went and helped another person get out of the waves and then another person and another person. And that's what the Lord does. Like when we're in a crisis, when we're in bad situations, um, God will come and help us, but then he wants us to turn around and help others after we've recuperated and stuff. And so I want to pray for you. Those that life has just been coming down on you over and over. It's been one wave right after the other and you feel you can't breathe and you feel like you can't get up again. And the Lord comes in and stops it, shakes you off, recuperates you, heals you from it. Um, he wants you to go and help others that um, have gone through similar situations you just did or you're going through right now. So Lord, stop those waves right now in Jesus name. I pray that you would come in, that you would intercede those waves, that you would stop all the things happening. And it feels like one thing right after the other, and you would stop it and allow my viewers to catch their breath and then, sh and then help them to, to shake it off, heal from all the things happening and then help them to see others that you have in their lives that can um, be encouraged by what you brought my viewer through and stuff. And so may we not just thank you, God, but we may we not just thank you for taking us out of the waves, but may we turn around and go after others that are going through similar things we went through, God. So thank you so much that you love us, that you um, at times stop the waves, and that you expect us to help others from what we've been going through. So God, thank you. Give my viewers the strength to turn around and go help others. In Jesus' name, amen. All right, guys. Thank you so much for tuning in. We'll catch you on the next one. Bye.